Hello there everybody, Peter of England bringing you probably one of the most important videos that you will see in your life. Uh, probably one of the most important videos ever. Um, it's concerning the current situation globally with this coronavirus uh, pandemic that has officially now taken a hold of the planet. Um, what I'm going to do now is actually tie in this scenario where the pandemic that's raging globally and is closing down and locking down all countries uh, from the Americas through to through Europe. Um, I'm going to try and put a different perspective on it now for you because this is something that has possibly been uh, awaited for a long time and for whatever reason with it arriving, whether it's by luck, whether it's nature, whether it's by design, it ties in very much with the project that we're bank has been announcing since 2015, March, exactly five years ago to when the first video for We Are Bank was put online through YouTube and that was a small, simple five or nine minute video made outside of a Santander bank in the UK making an announcement that you should not fight it, you should pay it. And fight what or pay what? Your debt. Now, at the time, when Weabank first launched in 2015, myself, Peter of England, was vilified mainly, mainly on social media. Um, on the likes of Facebook, we were trolled. Uh, on Twitter and other social media platforms, we were trolled. Uh, I was accused of being a perpetrator of a fraud. And that various um, unethical practices were being manifest by me. However, the BBC, the FCA, the press, they all took a look at what we were doing and what we would say is that in this five-year presence and this five-year campaign of for justice on this planet, no one that has been involved in Weabank has suffered at the hands of the authorities, uh, authorities at all. And what we mean by that of all the tens of thousands of Weir Bank payment checks that have been issued, of all the uh, other instruments that we have prepared to solve people's debt situations, not one of these people have been prosecuted or arrested or had any repercussions addressed to them. Those that have been threatened have always had the, the cases laid down against them for lack of evidence or lack of proof. So. All the rumours about what was going to happen have not come to pass. And what I was saying, and for those of you who go onto the wearebank.co.uk website and have a look, all the things that I was offering, all the things that Wearbank was promising it could do way back in 2015 are now coming into reality. We said that we could pay off your student loans, your mortgages, your credit card debts, your um, um, capital payments on, on machinery or farm equipment, whatever it was, your utility bills, whatever it was that you were indebted to, we said we had a solution to that. So here we are now in 2020, apparently being vindicated totally, but unfortunately as a cause of some global pandemic. And what is happening in front of your very eyes right now, people, is a global reset. There is a complete rearranging now of the, the global financial and economic picture and also of society. And for those who think this is going to be over in a month, to those who think it's got 18 months to run, don't worry about what these projections are. All that I can assure you of is that the world, the social structure, is being re-engineered and it will never be the same again. You're being encouraged now to stay at home. You're be, being encouraged to educate or self-educate at home. Universities are closed. Schools are closed. Businesses seem to be going to the wall. And if you think this is going to be something that they're going to recover from by the end of summer, I've got some very strange news for you and a bridge in Washington State I'd like to sell to you. That having been said, Weir Bank, last year, 
was offering a solution to the global toxic debt situation, the financial slavery that has ruined the planet, has ruined cultures and ruined lives for hundreds if not thousands of years. Many of you would have thought, looking back, when I made these announcements six months or five years ago, this was a utopian ideal. It was pie in the sky. It could never happen. What a lunatic, as many of the trolls and the shills have posted, that, oh, he's talking out of, out of his hat, if I had a hat on. However, if I'd have said to you, even in November or even in mid-December, of 2019, within three months, the entire communities of Europe would be locked down, would be put on compulsory curfew, would not be able to leave their homes without a piece of paper or a very good reason to travel, and that self-isolation for 14 days for anyone who had the signs of a cold might be normal, you would have thought I was a complete lunatic. And rightly so. But look where we are now. The United Kingdom, the United States, the whole of Europe and many other countries worldwide in a state of lockdown or virtual lockdown whereby people cannot go and carry on in their normal day-to-day -day activities without they have some explicit reason and in some instances they are not allowed to leave their house at all. So if you think what I was saying six months ago, or four or five years ago, was slightly exaggerated and unbelievable. Where do you think it's going from here? Well, I'll tell you where it's going from here. It's the Weirbank 2.0 Weirbank Deep State Debt Easement Eradication Program. Okay? That's what we've been marketing for a long time, and now it is in place. So, what I would like to do is offer you proof now that you should sincerely and credibly contact Weirbank through Freeman Legal Services or the links that I'm placing below here and make sure now that you get on board to ensure that the debt relief program goes global. You are obligated now morally, socially and almost spiritually to pass this information on now. So, attention all media outlets. Attention the BBC. Attention RT. Attention the news networks. Attention the, the, uh, the media channels. This is something that was predicted. This is something that has a heritage. This is something that was forewarned that was going to come. And here we are now delivering it. And for all the naysayers out there who said it couldn't be done, and Peter of England wouldn't endure, and we a bank couldn't exist, well, here we are, very prophetically, at the forefront of this channeling. And what I mean by channeling is, there is no other bank on the planet that is allowed now to act as the principal channeling agent for your forgiveness and resolution and eradication of the vile, toxic, radioactive debt that has been a detriment to communities and to this civilization for millennia. We are on the driving seat or in the driving seat and we will provide the solution. Now, the UK reportedly only a few days ago through the Chancellor of the Exchequer and through Boris Johnson's announcement, makes an announcement that 330 billion has been set aside for a, let's call it, what Weir Bank was offering to the people last year and before, a quantitative easing, not for the large corporatocracy, not for the mandarins of power and those who would continue the situation of debt enslavement, but how about some quantitative easing for the people? Instead of the Federal Reserve putting one billion per day, yes, you heard it, and that was 2016-18 figures, one billion a day into the, the equity market, and instead of the European Central Bank pumping double, if not treble, the equivalent into the European bourses, what about directing some of that funding towards the people? And with that in mind, what I did is, last year, I actually sent 
a communication to Donald Trump at the White House making a proposal and a suggestion. But not only did I send it to him, I also sent it to uh, General Joseph Dunford, who is the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, the Department of Treasury in the United States, Stephen Mnuchin, the Head of Defence and Financial Accounting, the Department of uh, Head of Defence and Financial Accounting, Accounting Service Out of Service Management Team, uh, Patrick Michael Shannon, the United States Secretary of the Department of Defence, and a guy called Glenn A. Fine, who is the Department of Defence Officer of in Inspector General, and also what is called uh, to the Office of the Controller of the Currency. Notifications were also given to HM Treasury and also to the British government. And in effect, what that was saying is that in 2019, we were going to begin a deep state eradication program. And it was called the Debt Easement Eradication Program. Uh, in effect, the subject of the advisory letter, which can be made available to anyone who wants a copy of it, the subject was Debt Eradication Easement Program, Rationale, stated as the National Security Emergency Humanitarian Debt Relief and Future Proofing of Financial Economic Systems. The target group, initially, all indebted United States citizens, people of the United Kingdom, and eventually all populations. Commencement date was given as imminent. Suggested rollout May, June 2019. The debt resolution provider for the payments, the payor in effect, United States Department of Defense and the Paymaster General and the United States Treasury, as well as United Kingdom Department of the Treasury. Jurisdictional Authority, United States Military Code, National Emergency, the Law of Armed Conflict for the United States. That's specifically for the United States. Authorization by the President of the United States, Commander-in-Chief of the United States Armed Forces, and a current precedent for the debt relief then was the Defence Finance and Accounting Services Out of Service Debt Management Centre with a historical precedent of something called the Funding Act of 1790. So, with that in mind, this letter outlined what we were going to do, how we were going to do it, and offering a olive branch to the United States governmental, both sides of the aisle, Republican or Democrat, olive branch, for them to become involved in this project, with the proviso that if they found it too politically sensitive, then they might not wish to get involved in it directly, but would like to aid us uh, indirectly or more covertly. So, what I would say to date is, we have had no negative feedback from these organisations, and with that in mind, Weirbank is now making the announcement that a voucher programme is to be made available to you imminently, whether you're in the United Kingdom, whether you're in Ireland, whether you're in the United States, Canada, Australia, New Zealand or other Commonwealth countries, whether you're in any other uh, country within Europe, uh, we are making the voucher debt eradication programme available to you. So what you need to do is the following. Understand that a quantitative easing program is available. Understand that this quantitative easing program is available to you. However, there is a way to go down the pipe or the conduit. It's no good phoning your bank and saying, can you help me with my mortgage interest payments? Or phoning the credit card company and saying, please can you help me? Or the car payment company or whoever you are supposedly indebted to, because invariably they'll just say, no, you need to carry on making the payments. Because they're still labouring under the old ideology, the old fossilised mentality that you have to continue payment. But as you can see, the leaders, so-called, of these major international Western nations are suggesting that there is relief available. 
And so that relief has to be channeled. It has to be channeled in a particular way. And the channel is Weir Bank. So we are there to act as the intermediary. We are there to initially verify that a loan or a debt is in place. Then we are authorised to issue a voucher with a very specific payment code and reconciliation verification on our side, which is matched by the United States Department of Defence, the United States Treasury and also HMRC or United Kingdom Treasury. Now, why we are suggesting that this is the only way to go, it's because it's the most sane way and it's the most prophetic way and it's the, the way that causes the, most, uh, the least confusion and so that everyone knows who's paid what and, and when. So, what we want you to do now is, first, for those who don't know about Weir Bank, just do a search and look about what they say about myself. So, I would predict that when we formulated, or when I formulated We Are Bank in 2014, when we launched in 2015, we had a mission and a purpose. That mission and purpose passed around about 2017, when we were ready for the next phase. However, we had to wait for that next phase, and it was either going to be people pushed, or it was going to come from a force majeure, an act of God, if you will, or from an external source. That time is here, that time is now, and it has arrived. So, this is a call to you. If you doubted it before, don't doubt it. If you had second thoughts before, don't. We are here now to help you. We're here to unwrap the toffee out of the paper. We are here to put it in your mouth. We are here to masticate your jaws for you if you haven't got the strength or, or the determination uh, or the motivation to chew it yourself. We can't do any more for you than this. So, this is the offer. So, go now and have a look at the links below. You need to go, first of all, to the removement, R-E-M-O-V-E-M-E-N-T dot net website. Go to where it says shop. There are two instructional webinars there. These webinars were made on, listen up, January the 13th and February the 15th. That was before the January one, particularly, we announced the webinar last year in, in 2019, before coronavirus had even lifted its head off off the uh, Petri dish floor of whichever laboratory it may or may not have come out of. So, we were ahead of the schedule, we were ahead of the time. We were announcing a debt eradication program in joint participation. And the vouchers that you are going to be offered will be endorsed and verified by the United States Department of Defence, the United States Treasury, the UK Treasury, for people in Germany, the Bundesfinanzamt, and the equivalent in other countries, whether you're in Australia, it'll be the ATO, and so on and so forth. So, you need now to go to the removement.net website and watch those two webinars. They're two hours each, so that's a four-hour digestive process you need to take down to find out what we have been offering for those who are unconnected with the, the YouTube channel and what Peter of England has been looking to offer through Weir Bank for some time now. Once you've listened to those webinars, share them. That's your first responsibility. Get them out to other people because what you give, you will also get in return. It's a time of a spiritual awakening. It's a time of a spiritual evolution. For those of you who are concerned about catching a virus, in future uh, webinars or videos I will give you some news on maybe why you shouldn't be worrying as much as you are. Listen to the webinars. Then there is a link that will be posted down below. It's admin1 at freemanlegalservices.com. Freemanlegalservices, all one word. Look at the freemanlegalservices.com website as well. That will help you. Join 
We are bank. We would like you to be a member. However, if you don't feel you want to commit to becoming a member of We are Bank, then we are quite happy for you simply to go look at the webinars and follow the instructions from there. The information for joining We are Bank is on the removement.net website. Why it is there is that we have a political arm and we have a other services arm. Removement was always appertaining to the political arm of a movement set to remove them from the establishment and bring light, enlightenment and debt forgiveness to the world. So, to conclude, whether you have a car loan, whether you have a mortgage problem payment, whether you have problems paying your rent, whether you have utility problems with gas, water, electricity or telephone, we are here for you. Whether it is for a student loan, get in touch with us. Whether it's for farm machinery or payments on capital projects, get in touch with us. We can eradicate this debt for you. So no matter what the debt is, whether it's banking debt, whether it is utility bills, whether it is problems making payments for the elderly in care homes or, or centres where they need care, whether you are a vet who can't pay his medical bills in the United States or you are having pay, problems paying for uh, private care in the United States or the United Kingdom or in Ireland, get in touch with us. Whether you have problems paying for dental treatment, Get in touch with us and we will show you how to pay it. Spread the message, spread it wide. This is not a joke. This is not a promise of future jam tomorrow. This is real. It is happening. We, in part, have created it. You may say it seems to be an act of God that has acted as the catalyst, but we had the program in place it was running in the background. It was geared up through We're Bank 2.0 in the summer of 2019. It's been communicated to the President of the United States and all major powers that have got any influence in what we're doing. And what we need to do now is do it in an organised, concerted, intelligent fashion. And it needs to be channelled. And I'm the channel. We're Bank is the tool that we are going to use to affect this major financial economic change that you would have thought could only be happened or happen if you were transported to another planet. But look around. Does the planet look the same as it did a month ago or three months ago? The streets are clear. The shelves are being um, stripped down in uh, food stores. People are hoarding. People are frightened to touch and look at each other. So... Let's change the world. Let's begin with the banking system. So, look at all the links below. Peter of England now saying thank you very much for listening. The main priority though is get the numbers up on this video. Yeah, I'm fed up of it being in the lower thousands or if it's something a little bit more controversial about Facebook or Tommy Robinson, we only get to 100,000 views. On the channel entirely, we've got over two, two and a half million views. We have 23, 24,000 people on the subscriber list. As soon as this video goes out, within an hour, it should be 12,000. And if it isn't, I'm going to blame you. Thank you.